another quick video. Today, we're just gonna check out an ROC post. So it's gonna be short and sweet, I think. Middle of nowhere. Lovely, uh, beautiful morning. Uh, yeah, it's open this time. The last literally 10 we've been to have been locked. So ROC posts are really sort of hit and miss things. They're either open or they're not. And if they're open, they're normally flooded. I think this one's flooded a little bit. Uh, so joined by Hidden Histories, was a Hello. beefy mask on. I'm Bane. <laughs> so yeah, these were used by the, uh, oh God, I'm trying to remember now. Royal Observer. Royal Observer Corps, something like that. What is that noise? Harvester. Uh, yeah, so they used to monitor like, um, or designed to monitor fallout levels uh, if there was a, a nuclear strike. So there'd be a couple of men, two or three men down there monitoring that, beds down there and stuff. A uh, little desk. So yeah, we're uh, going down, take a look, and we'll uh, see you down there. If we can get down there, what do you reckon? No, I think we should. Fingers crossed. Got that song stuck in my head. Bam, bam, I'm just checking the ladder's actually safe. Seems alright. Can't go wrong with still these days. Oh, it smells lovely down here, mate. Jesus. What are you getting out here, is he? Huh? Jesus, eh? <laughs> Don't drop your phone. <laughs> you got lucky in Dover. I did. Right, he's going into a deep, dark hole, guys. 14 feet deep, these are. These shafts. Sign here. Please uh, mind your head on the balance weight. Oof. Look at your Fred Dynage. Right guys, so we just come down the ladder. 14 foot shaft it is in total. So, I think that there is like an old water pump. So if sort of water gathered in here, then they'd use that to pump the water up and out the, out the hatch. So here's the old toilet area. So there's a little shelf there. Zoom in a bit, there's the shelf. There's a lot of clutter and stuff in here. As you can see, so that there is the old is the old toilet. So that's being moved. That used to be in here. Now look at this, guys. This is actually a pretty good one as far as they go. Now the last one we did, and I'll put a link to it above in the top right hand corner. Now was was in good nick, um, but probably not as good as this actually. This literally is, I think, the best one I've seen. This is actually pretty good. Just gonna get my light. Yeah, look at this, folks. That is absolute crazy. I can't believe this, actually. That's a really good nick. Malteser package in there. Old lager, a bottle of something. So that there, they would have had a gauge on that and that would have given a reading for the fallout outside. So that pipe goes up and um, the sensors on the other side of that. But yeah, this is absolutely brilliant. I mean, trashed, but as far as these go, and it's even got carpet in, yeah, as far as these go, actually, not a bad one at all. That is a really old Pringles can there. That is old, old school, old juice. I wonder if that's got a sell-by date on. So, like, December 94 there, look. December 94. These are rare in themselves. Don't know why there's a Prime package, Amazon Prime. Some old Robinsons, so you can see the old logo. 
and what they used to look like. Small ropes, small vintage dry cider. Looks like they've had a candle in there. Lemonade, Lucas Aid Energy. That's very, very old stuff. Yeah, so hidden history is going to make his way down. There's an alien. That's brilliant. Yeah, look at this old magazine, guys. It's quite funky. It's an old fuse box. Yeah, so the old fire blanket. It's like a... Um, do that about lift up. Try and lift that up. There, there you go. So there's um not sure the mirror's original, but um yeah, I can't say I've ever seen one of those. But yeah, every ROC post I've been in, these little water pump handles, they've been gone. So for this to all still be here, I mean the bed. Previous ones I've been in, the bed frames, so the bed frames have been at the back and obviously the mattresses on the bed frame and that sort of cupboard has been here. So maybe they've had a sort of change around on furniture. But yeah, just the old packaging guys, like this is proper 90s stuff. And even like in the trash bag and stuff, I mean, I don't really want to go looking around in trash bags, but even like the old Coke packaging as well is um, quite retro. But yeah, even chairs down and stuff, so. Yeah, all in all, pretty impressive, guys. So uh, in history, we'll uh, come down and have a quick look. There's a shaft that goes up the top there. interesting oh yeah and just quickly that's a little air vent that actually opens so yeah that's where you air there's a few cobwebs are trying to break let's get the camera up there that's the air shaft that goes up to the top so just close that close that as much as we can and i've just knocked that over Yeah, it's good stuff that. It's actually, yeah, I've just knocked that over by accident. But it's, um, it is actually full. I don't know about that one. Yeah, there's a bit in that as well. Roses, lime, marmalade. Look at that. That's brilliant stuff, guys, brilliant stuff. You twist off cap. I wonder what they used to have originally then. Yeah, some really old cigarettes as well, just missed earlier. I think nowadays they have um, much more graphic uh, warnings on cigarette packets. Well, it's a hidden history. It's gonna make his way down. It's just gonna fill his pockets. So yeah, that is the, the outside of it. So there's like a perimeter fence there. You can just see. Lovely day. And there's the little wear vent, guys, that I showed you. And then the the other little post, it does the readings. I think that's over there, it's buried in the brambles. Yeah, so Danny goes. So he hasn't been down there yet. I've just been down there filming, so he's gonna get a shock when he sees it. Right, follow me down with the camera and zoom in. Yep. Guys, this is deep. 14 foot, the shaft. I'm used to that. Oh, 
Okay. I think I can already see what you're on about with that type of light. Blast your light on, you're going to get a shock. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's right. best one I've seen. Yeah, right, guys. We're we'll coming back to um, down in the bottom of uh, the RIC coach now. We'll just climb up there. There's Steve. Um, Here's the little shaft I um, showed you down the bottom, guys. Uh, nice, clean, empty toilet. And there's uh, some stickers just to uh, show we've been here, really. Yeah, so I, I literally just missed it. Um, the the other little concrete air vent is here. You can just see. You can see the vent holes there. So that's where we shine the light up. On the other side. And then the yeah, the little air vent hole for the reading gauge. Is, yeah, it's probably buried or even removed. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed that little ROC post explore, guys. We certainly did. One of the best I've ever seen, actually. Really good nick. So drop a like if you enjoyed it. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought of it. And if you've seen one better than that one, because I, I haven't. They're always flooded, or they're always locked, or they're always set alight. So yeah, really good one. Good bit of history on it. So here with Hidden Histories. Um, so yeah, drop a like. Drop a sub if you're new and leave a comment and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys. I think there's just one thing left to do, close the hatch so it doesn't flood. That's as much as we get the lid down folks. That's kind of how we how it was when we found it. It's just because of that there but at least it stops the rain from getting in. That's the main thing. So we can leave knowing we've done a, an okay job. So yeah, thank you. Just close the gate as well, folks. Peace of mind, peace of mind.